Hello, today I'm going to be going over all of the Pentart varnish products that are offered. Pentart offers both a solvent based as well as a water based solvent. This is solvent based clear varnish and this is in gloss. We also carry it in matte, but I don't have that one. Uh, the reason you would use a solvent based varnish is over a solvent based product that you used and you want to seal. So if you use uh, a wax or um, an oil paint, then you need to seal it with a solvent based varnish. The other reason we use this, and it's quite often if you use uh, this fabulous fine line crackle, fine line crackle after you're finished and after you fill in the cracks with whatever you want to with um, uh, wax or whatever product you want to fill the cracks, it needs to be sealed with a solvent varnish. We recommend the gloss because it keeps that high gloss effect that you got from the fine line crackle. The fine line crackle, we have another demo on it if you want to take a look, but it gives a beautiful porcelain finish and it's sealed with the gloss. Quickly, I'll just show you these three varnishes. They're called Chameleon and they give uh, an iridescent look. They have sparkle mica powders in there and there's silver, gold, and brass. And I do have another demo on those so you can look that up, but they are also a varnish that we offer. Now the water-based products, we have Glossy, Matte, and this one's called Soft Touch. And I'll just tell you what the difference is. Um, but there's also a silky shine in the decoupage varnish and glue. So if you decoupage something and you're using this between your base and the paper that you're decoupaging, and then you go over the top of it, it's gonna leave a silky shine. So not a high gloss and not a matte, but you'll get a little, little bit of a silky shine. But you wouldn't wanna use this just over something you've painted. This would be over a decoupage piece that you've done. These three can be used over decoupage or also just over something you've painted. Um, the matte varnish and the glossy varnish, like I said, they're all water-based and they're just used like any other varnish that you use. Uh, the decor varnish soft touch is really interesting because when it dries, it has a really soft feel to it. You would use this if you're gonna do something that's gonna be touched all the time and picked up, like maybe a jewelry box or a piece of decor that's gonna be handled a lot. This is really soft to touch. I don't know how they do it, but it's fabulous. And this is an ultra matte finish to it. So there's no shine at all, which is, fabulous if you wanting a matte. These are matte. This is also a matte varnish, but it still leaves a very, very slight sheen to it, which you can see if you're painting something dark. Um, but this one, there's virtually no shine to it at all. So I'm going to show you several of these in projects and show you how to use them, but they're very straightforward. You just want to use a soft brush for all of them. And, uh, Put them on, walk away, let them dry, and then you can do a second coat. And if you have any flaws from the first coat, the second coat typically covers it up. On this tag, I put a few tree molds and I painted the whole th thing green. And then you can see the little tiny red berries on there. So before I do anything else to it, like wax it or or maybe use an antiquing gel. I'd wanna seal it, that way it's easy to wipe off um, whatever it is I do to it. So, so whatever I do to it, you can leave it uh, heavy or remove some with a paper towel or a baby wipe to make it lighter. I'm gonna be using the matte varnish and you always wanna stir it 
well because varnishes can separate. And then I'm gonna use a soft brush and just put it on. It takes uh, a little while for it to dry about, um, I mean, it'll be dry to touch probably in about um, 20, 30 minutes, but I like to let it dry thoroughly at least a few hours. You can accelerate it with a heat gun. If it's a piece of furniture, you would want to do two coats. You'd put the first coat on, let it dry a few hours, and then come back and do a second coat and let that one dry a full 24 hours. But it's on, I'm gonna let it dry and I'll come back and show you. The next one I'm going to do is uh, this box. I just decoupaged the top with a decoupage queen rice paper. And for this one, I'm going to use the soft touch varnish. And because this is a larger flat surface, you can use a larger brush and you're just going to use nice long motions and you don't have to play with it too much. Just put it on and leave it. And same thing, it will take a few hours to dry, but uh, a lot of times I'll just do this at night and let it dry overnight, then I'm not tempted to play with it. And last, I'm gonna use the glossy water-based varnish on this little easel. I decoupaged the paper on top, the Christmas paper from Decoupage Queen. Now for this one, I um, decoupaged the paper and then I extended it by blending some paint all around the edges. After I seal it with the glossy varnish, I'm gonna come back and add some uh, sparkly snowflakes or do some extra treatments to it here. Make it prettier. But this will give it a nice glossy backdrop because I know this piece is gonna be sparkly and shiny for Christmas. And you can go either way, doesn't matter, with your varnish, up and down, side to side. Okay. So I'll let these dry and I'll come back and show you. Here is the finished easel. What I ended up doing was using some snow paste and snow crystal paste. Uh, through a stencil, I used the snow crystal paste with the little stars and uh, then I used the snow paste around the bottom and on the trees. So you can see a very pretty finish in the back. It's glossy, which is what I wanted, and, um, and it looks great. Now we have this tag that I used, the matte varnish, and it's dried completely, and you can see there's no white left where you could see it before in the, the little grooves of the trees but that's dried completely, so I'll come back and show you that. And here is this cigar box that I used the soft touch varnish on. It's completely dry and you just can't help touching it. It is so soft and it has a extremely matte finish. As you can see, as I'm turning it, there's no glare on it at all. So I'll come back and show you the finished product. The two projects are finished, and on the tag, I used Pentart Snow Paste and added a little bow and ribbon here to hang it. And you can see there's no streaking from the varnish. It just went on very smoothly, and it is a nice matte finish. And here's the box that I did. I decided to keep the top a little bit simple because the paper is just so pretty. I wanted that to be the focus. So I added a couple of uh, just little molds. And the paint I used is this green is Decor Paint Chalky in Thorn. It's a beautiful green color that I used on the sides. I used a little gold wax here through a stencil, a decoupage queen stencil, 
and this is the paper on the lid, which is also decoupage queen. And I left the inside, I just did a clear wax inside just to deepen the wood color a little bit. And now it's nice and soft and added some feet to it as well. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions about these products.